Well, is a car park worth destroying nine family homes for? That's the question being asked in Janelli in Sydney South. Nine families told they need to move out to make way for the four-storey facility. The devastating news was delivered by a knock on the door. Residents saying the decision was made without any community consultation. And now they're fighting back. Residents Liam Mulhall, his wife Helma and Beck Hewitt join us now from Janali, along with their community. Oh, my goodness, guys, this is outrageous. Your homes and no consultation, you say? Absolutely none. Good morning, Carl and Layla. Um, as you can see, we're all here. We're all supporting each other. Mm. Um, we just, we can't believe it, really. I would imagine um, uh, there, was a, there was a long, an elongated period of consultation where all of your thoughts uh, were taken into account. Um, how were you actually told about this? Well, we were actually away. We were on our annual holiday down the coast. We had house sitters here looking after our pets and there was a door knock. They rang us on Thursday morning to advise that um, at 8.30 on Thursday morning there'd been a door knock here and two gentlemen who said they were representatives of Transport New South Wales informed then that this house was going to be compulsorily acquired for the purposes of uh, making way for a multi-storey car park. And, I can't believe yeah. that they just can do that without any consultation. It's crazy. Back behind you, there are nine homes. There's nine different stories. What kind Absolutely. of impact is this going to have? How, what, tell me about the families this is going to affect. This is just going to rip the guts out of the street, out of the community, out of, out of our family. We... This street is an extension of everyone's family. We all know each other exceptionally well. Helmer and Liam are like my substitute parents. Uh, we all help raise each other's kids. We all look after each other. We've got a neighbourhood nana two doors down who bakes slices and looks after kids. We uh, Look, I, I can't even... You can't put words. Like, it's just ridiculous. Hey, Beck. And we feel we, we really feel your pain. Um, and it's one thing for adults to get told this kind of news, but how do you break it to kids? You don't. Um, my kids are teenagers, so I'm probably a little bit lucky. And because we're not actually having our homes acquired, we will still have a roof over our heads. But to be told, my son actually said to me yesterday, in a village, who's the oldest person? It's the elder that looks after everybody. And that is, there is people in this street that are like that. Um, I can't even, Helma opens up her home every Saturday morning. So the elderly people who haven't got access to the community can come here and have morning tea. Oh. Uh, it, it's just, during COVID, my next door neighbor put a bucket out the front of her house, helping people with toilet paper when it ran out. Like mm. it's just, this is not, this is it's a special Carl, community. It's Carl, this isn't community. the castle. This is the kingdom, and yeah. we we're not going to stop at all. Like until the bulldozer, you can chain me. I'm not, I'm not moving. Well, this is the kind of thing um, that, that everyday Australians shouldn't have to deal with. Uh, New South Wales Transport Minister well, Andrew Constance um, uh, couldn't join us this morning. He's responded to the backlash, essentially saying um, that it's a council issue. Uh, how do you feel about that? Well, we're not interested in the squabbling between, you know, the different levels of government. It's surely it's up to them to sort those issues out. They talk about a project for the greater good. Well, let's see them do something that achieves the greater good. You know, we're not against a car park in principle. We're just asking, is this the best solution? Mm. And how have you arrived at this solution? What processes have you gone through? to arrive at this mm. and why haven't you been transparent about that yeah, yeah what else we has can been see considered you're not going to give yes. up you're going to take this to the council absolutely look yeah. this is a, a life-changing impact on us this isn't just about infrastructure and houses it's about homes and they're more than just bricks and mortar. Oh it's beautifully said mate and well done to you all we're going to follow this story up yeah we'll back you up yeah, continue the fight for well, you. Well, we're delighted to hear it. Okay. And I'd say to your viewers, I was just astounded that, um, you know, this 
this isn't an autocratic dictatorship. How can they do this okay. without consultation? All right, we have to. We do have to move on. But thank you for your time. Thank you for prosecuting your argument. And like we said, um, we'll follow this uh, this story up as well. Pre